Hey guys, welcome back to Endless Skies. Uh, I know it's been a few days now. I had a little bit of uh, technical difficulties and a power outage and uh, sidetracked doing other things IRL. But long story short, I'm back. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> um, here by myself today, uh, Cormac is not logged in. I don't really know what he's doing. Probably family stuff. He is a family man after all. Anyway, um, I figured I would uh, make sure everything was running smoothly. I went over here and cleared out the mob farm a few hours ago, actually. It's pretty much full again. Doesn't take long. Um, I've been throwing the worn out loot bags in this activator. Yeah. Um, so basically, the mob system, I'm pretty sure I explained it before. There's a grinder there. The drops get filtered into these three chests. Uh, they're mostly just sh uh, short term storage. Short term storage. Uh, they all get pushed kind of in this direction from that one to this one to that one. And uh, there's filters exporting from the top of each of them for loot bags and a few other miscellaneous common items. The loot bags all go to this crafter to be turned into legendary bags. All the other miscellaneous stuff gets sent to this energy condenser which I cleared out. It's working on another octuple compressed cobblestone right now. Toss those in there. Uh, it takes quite a while to make one of these actually. Um, but the loot bags <clears throat> that make uh, into legendaries here are going into this deep storage unit and as you can see there's over 1600 in there. So um, yeah that's been going for a few days non-stop. Um, all the mob essence is in here somewhere Let's see if I can't find it. I'm kind of wondering how full it is. I didn't check it earlier. It should be in here. Oh, actually, it's not very full. That's right. Uh, we're using it for the spawner over here, making the um, wither skeletons. And actually... Uh, I made a scythe, that's what I'm using right now, uh, a couple days ago, and I forgot about it. Leveled it up all the way, pretty much right here. Didn't take too long. Uh, it is basically all kinds of damage, and I ended up getting one luck modifier whenever it leveled up, so I just maxed out the luck on it. Um, 18 damage in an area, 20% behead chance, it's pretty decent. It's good for clearing these guys out. Um, for like a single target fight, I would go with my cleaver though. Whenever we get around to doing the uh, end dragon and maybe some more wither boss fighting if we're testing out armor and stuff. But uh, today, we're not going to get into all that. There's one thing I want to do today. Right after I get rid of the stuff in my inventory that I picked up, because my item magnet is on. Let's see here. Let's get rid of the common bags right there. Actually, there's an uncommon bag. And there's a legendary bag. Okay. And the rest of this stuff can just be turned into energy like that. I got 16 ectoplasm out of those? Wow. That was really easy, actually. Anyway, <clears throat> there is one thing I wanted to do. Oh, wow. I'm getting stuck in stuff. And that is... We are going to make the unstable ingots today. And these are made with... Oh, come here. Uh, these are the division sigil with an iron ingot and a diamond. Uh, we made these in Sky Factory 2.5 a while back, but we didn't do it like this. We actually made the nuggets so that the ingots would be stable and not explode, so we can hang on to them and use them whenever we want to. And those are made from a gold nugget with the sigil and a diamond. So instead of an iron ingot, you use a gold nugget. And you have to use nine of these to make an ingot. So you're technically using nine times as many diamonds 
and nine times the number of charges on the division sigil, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. And the resources are plentiful, so we don't have to worry about any kind of resources. So let's pull our division sigil here. We have two of them that are activated. And I don't know if there's any, no, there's no gold nuggets in there. There are some diamonds though, but uh, I'm going to use my own energy amount here. And we're just going to pull out like two stacks. Actually, let me refill that stack there for my loot pet. And we're going to get two stacks of diamonds. One, two. All right. Make a stack. Make another stack. Put the diamonds in. It's all totally fine. And now that we have the nuggets, we can make all the ingots that we want. And they're never going to explode. So now that we have the ingots, what do we want to do with these? Well, uh, we could make an unstable ingot block, which as far as I know is just decorative. Oh no, you can use that to make another star generator. That's right. You can actually get fluid unstable out of that to cast tool parts, which I don't know if these are actually creatable. It doesn't look like they are. Uh, no. Anyway, um, we are going to be making the portal to the deep dark. We just need all the cobblestone. Which is not a problem at all. So, we are going to need... Let's see here. It's like three quads. Yeah, three quads and a quintuple. There's the quintuple and one, two, three, four quads. All right. Simple enough. And there we go. Portal to the deep dark. Put the ingots back in there. Let's put this on the bar. Uh, I don't know where I wanted to put this actually. I mean, we can just move it later. So I guess for now we can just toss this right there right here in the uh, public space where it's easily accessible. Um, let me make sure I have everything set up here. Oh, we messed around a little bit with the Animal Bikes mod. Um, they all pretty much work. I made the Wither Bike. Uh, if you don't know what the Animal Bikes mod is, I will probably do a quick video that's like a spotlight on it. Um, they're kind of fun to mess around with, but not as useful. A lot of them are not as useful in a skyblock map. Um, a few of them can fly, though. So if you get the resources for it and want another alternate version of a way to fly around your map, um, I can do a spotlight on those. Just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will let you guys mess around with those on your own. And it seems like I've got everything in order here. I doubt I'll be taking any sort of damage. And I kind of want to just use the cleaver here. And actually, um, let me drop an ender chest right here. We had one there. I don't know what happened to it. We picked it up for some reason. But I'm going to put a few things away. Uh, I'll keep that on the bar. Put a few things away, just in case. Alright, to the deep dark! Now for those of you that do not know what the deep dark is, it's basically a giant cave. Uh, you spawn in this little room here. 5 by 5 by 5 Yeah. 
and the portal's right there in the middle. Now we want to go down. We're actually fairly high up in the cave ceiling right now. So I want to go straight down till I get into the cave, which is directly below me, and it will be really dark in there. Let me just grab some torches, actually. Um, why not an interdiction torch? I don't think I showed these off before either, at least not in this series. Uh, interdiction torches are like a regular torch <clears throat> that you make with Project E. There's the recipe. Um, whenever you make this, you get two at a time, and you do get your stone back. You get your Philosopher's Stone back when you create this. Uh, these torches give off light, and they also prevent mobs from walking into them, and they deflect projectiles like um, skeleton arrows and things like that. So, good to have if you're trying to def uh, defend like a, a doorway or a walkway or something like this. So, we're just going to go straight down here, drop our interdiction torch. And I'm basically going to stand like right on it, and we're going to see if these guys can even get to me. No, they can't walk into the light. Oh, see the arrow there? Bounced right off. There's like a force field around the torch. It's like a really strong wind that pushes away from the torch. See the arrow just turned around and went back the other way. Mobs can't walk in here. Uh, they can spawn inside this area if you uh, present them with a spawnable area. They can spawn in here, but they'll be pushed back out of it as soon as they spawn. So, anyway, these are just really fun to mess with. So we're going to... Uh, let's see, was it this spot right here? I think it was. Let me check real quick. And yes, it was. All right, we're going to go straight down until we hit bedrock and set up a mining area down here. Now, the reason that I always go to bedrock in the deep dark is fairly simple. Um, it's because mobs do not spawn on top of bedrock. So you can have a big giant open area down there and not have to worry about very many mobs spawning on top of you. Or around you, actually. And I'm getting some pretty good frame lag here. A little bit of hiccup. I might have to go and turn off some more of those uh, speed enhancements in the farm area. I turned them back on earlier. Uh, the whole base was out of power. And that's because the power generation coming from our giant overdone pumpkin farm had uh, totally drained and stopped. So... All right, looks like I'm taking damage from the darkness. Also a witch nearby. Let me just drop a torch right there. A few more blocks and I will be there. Oh, pickaxe upgraded. Yeah, this area is also really good for those of you that enjoy mining. And don't mind a little bit of a combat challenge occasionally. Um, when you're in the dark here, you will start to take damage eventually. Is there bedrock? Yes, there is. Okay. It's getting a little worried there for a second. Uh, let me put a torch right there for a second and grab another interdiction torch. And put it right there. Okay, don't need that. Alright, so... Yeah, the mobs in here have doubled their normal HP. And they spawn all over the place. And it's dark everywhere. Well, that was pretty good. I think I'm immune to lava. Okay, well, that's going to be need to be cleaned up. And I immediately broke my pickaxe. 
There's a lot of ores in here, though. Uh, there's a few things down here I am particularly looking for. Titanium ore, that's one of them. We had a use for that. Couldn't find any in any... There's no other way to find it except for here. Uh, it doesn't come from any sort of uh, pulverizing any sort of anything. Uh, we could add it to the list, but it's better here. You get it late game, or not as easy early game, I should say. Um, tons of gold, coal, redstone. These dark ores, definitely I'm glad to see those here. Ferris. Uh, the dark ore that uh, we put into the pack, that we modded in, uh, the way to get it through uh, Ex Nihilo is actually not working right now. We need to do a little bit of uh, bug fixing in that department. Oh, there's actually a lot of titanium around here. And there's a lighting bug here. Fix, thank you. More tin. Decent looking cave here. Hmm. There's a few things I'm looking for, besides titanium. I may have to do some more digging. Cause I don't see it. Unless they don't spawn the deep dark, but I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, I don't see any in these clusters here. So let's go back out. Where was the exit? Let's see, I was like right here somewhere? There it is. I need to clean up the lava and reset the torches. Or at least the one interdiction torch down there. Yep. They can't get in here. Oh, where did that arrow go? <laughs> Off that way somewhere. Come on, shoot at me. I went off over there. Alright, well, we made it. Um, if you guys want any kind of tutorial on anything in the mod pack, let me know. I haven't got a lot of feedback on it yet. I assume that's because people are busy with the back to school and um, the Olympics are going on and there's like a ton of more popular games coming out right now that people are playing and watching. So, I mean, I don't expect a whole lot of feedback, but if any of you guys watching wants feedback on anything in this pack or wants me to go over something I've already covered uh, in more detail, then uh, let me know. I'm going to repair my pick, head back into the deep dark, and look around for one thing specifically that I want to do a little spotlight on. And uh, until then, thanks for coming by and watching, and I hope you guys are having a good day, and we'll see you next time.